So let us start our video. I'll open my VS Code here. And my VS Code has opened. So if you don't know how to use VS Code for Python, then you can watch this video. I'll provide this video link in the description box. So here I have a simple logo. I'm going to use this logo for notifications. So I'll create a new file called notifications.py which is the python file and I will print hello and if I run the code I get hello that means my python code is successfully working so I'm going to use a python module called plier so you can visit pypi.org which is the package manager of python and you can search for plier so the latest version of plier is 2 which is plier 2.0 so you can copy this code and paste in your VS code to install it so i have already installed plier so i'm going to uninstall plier first and then reinstall plier so if i use pip install plier i get plier installed on my pc so i get successful install plier 2.0 so i'm going to import from plier import notification and i'm going to create two variables called title and messages so these are going to be our text which is to be shown in the notification so i'll create two new variables title and message so i'll write notification dot notify title is equal to title message is equal to message app icon is equal to logo dot ico so you should use ico format which is icon if you have png or other formats then you can use any free png to ico converter such as cloud convert or png to icon so you should always use icon format image in python and timeout is equal to 10 so this message is going to be only 10 seconds and toast is equal to false so i don't want toast if you want toast then you can make toast is equal to true so i'm going to give it title my custom desktop notification Location and message is equal to subscribe code with niranjan for more awesome videos and now if i run it i get a desktop notification with name my custom desktop notification so if i on if i turn off the focus assist and if i run the notifications dot py i get custom notification here so you can use any other high quality image I use this image only to show an example so here I get custom notification and you can even delete it or report it so if I run this again I get another desktop notifications this notifications also shows in the notifications tab so this is how you can create custom notifications using plier 
so that's it for this video if you like this video then share the friends and don't forget to subscribe for the channel to in the next video until then bye bye